This is more for like everyday. <coughs> I can't, to be honest, I don't know why I only have one plate. Hey guys, what is up? It's Amy, and today's video is going to be things I only own one of. I did not come up with this video. I did not come up with this video idea. I saw a couple other sustainability or like minimalist channels do it. So I decided I would kind of do my own version because I really enjoy watching them. I will link a couple of my favorites down below. I just came up with 10 different things that I only own one of. A lot of the other people who did this video were kind of like grown up, adult people who are married and have kids. I am not that. I am a college student. So I thought it would be kind of interesting to have a college student version of this. So the first thing on this is a winter coat and literally just last semester Master, I had like three winter coats and especially last year I had like five or something I only wore like one of them so I decided to just like get rid of the other ones that I wasn't really wearing and just stick to one but it is from Calvin Klein it has like a belt buckle right here which I think is really cute and thick and fluffy and keeps you nice and warm it also has a hood which I love because I had a winter coat that didn't have a hood and it was absolutely torturous in this Minnesota weather. I just love everything about this coat and I actually thrifted it. I feel like a winter coat you only need just one really high quality one and you're good to go. The second one is kind of cheating but I have a backpack, a purse, and like a handbag. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So some of the other people who had these like things I only own one of only had like one purse and I was like huh, can't relate I have downsized a lot from like what I see other people have um, I know my mom has literally tons and tons of purses I think the number I have is like way more minimalist basically I have one backpack and this is my school backpack so I put on my notebook uh, pens pencils stuff like that so that's what this is for I also have a purse which I got last year when I was working as an intern at the state capitol and this is probably going to be the purse I use forever. This is going to be more for more like professional business stuff in general when I want to look dressed up, kind of like business. Um, I just felt weird like taking a regular backpack to the state capitol. And finally the smaller purse. This is more for like every day. I take this all the time when I go grocery shopping because inside of it is my shopping bag. I feel like these three can kind of like do all the different things I need them to do. This one is great for internships. This is great for every day. And then this is great for school. So as a college student I think these are the three bags that I think you need the next one is I have one pair of winter boots once again I used to have a couple different pairs of winter boots almost freezing my toes off one day because the bus was running late and I was like uh -uh, I'm not gonna do this anymore and I just decided to invest in these boots so that my toes can be comfortable in the winter time the next one I can't show you guys because I left both of them at home is one pair of sunglasses and then one pair of regular glasses I kind of put these two together because Obviously, I need both of them. So starting with sunglasses, I've never been like super into sunglasses, but I know what it is like normal for people to have multiple pairs of sunglasses. I just have one black pair of sunglasses that I got in a Fat Fit Fun box and I wear it all the time, obviously in the summertime. And then I also have one pair of glasses, which I lost over winter break, so I have to buy another pair because you best believe that when I went to class today, I could not read the board one bit. The next one is I have one foundation and it's not just one foundation that I have. A lot of my like skincare and makeup items I have downsized to one. So I'm also going to be filming a makeup collection video that will be coming out soon. So I will show you guys exactly all the makeup that I have that I have downsized from. Like I used to have one of those like makeup organizers filled and like overfilling with makeup but I have downsized to just one little carrying container of makeup which makes it so easy to travel with like going home and stuff. The next one that I have one coffee mug slash water bottle and I know a lot of people have a coffee mug and a water bottle. I personally like just having one that I can use as both. The reason is uh, my backpack is pretty small so I can't fit a lot of things into it. So I just like having one and then in the morning I'll put tea in it, drink the tea, finish the tea, go to a water fountain, rinse out the tea, put water in it and it just makes things so much easier that I only have one thing to worry about, only one water bottle to keep track of and this is a hydro flask. I did not pay for it because I do not have the kind of money. My sister actually gave this to me and she didn't pay for it either. She didn't steal it. She won it at like a raffle. I feel like it sounded like I was saying my sister stole it. She did not. She won it. But yeah, I just feel like for me it's a lot easier to just have one water bottle slash coffee mug 
in one because then I don't have to worry about keeping track of two things. The next one might be a little strange and it is I have one plate and I've been roasted for this and I can't to be honest I don't know why I only have one plate. Um, I just do. <laughs> Last year uh, when I was living in the dorms I think I had two plates. One cracked or broke or something so then I was left with one and to this day I have not bought another plate. I do have more like bowls and stuff. I have like let's see I have two bowls one plate, one mug, a couple little like teacups. So basically I don't have a lot of like cups and plates and stuff. The biggest reason is being cheap and not wanting to buy more of them. The next one is I have one notebook which is right here. This is my notebook for school and once again I have to be more specific. I technically have more than one notebook. This is my YouTube notebook. This is my journal that I write in every day or I try to. And then this is my bullet journal that I actually have a video on which you can click on right here I can't remember what I was talking about oh yeah notebooks okay so basically this is my school notebook I take all my notes for my different classes in here it's not super organized but I try to keep it as organized as possible but I just think this system just makes it easier for me to keep track of my notebook and my notes next one is a comb which once again I can't show you guys because I left it at home but I'm going to go to I can't speak but I'm going to go to Target later today to get the same comb that I usually have and this comb is precious to me it works so well but yeah I love this comb so much it works so well and I downsized from like a couple different combs I used to buy like um I think it would be like a six pack of combs and they break really easily and then I'd have to buy another six pack of combs and they're like different shapes and stuff I didn't like all of the shapes but I would buy the pack because it had more combs so I was like well when I lose one or they break then I have more combs but I decided to just invest it's not really investing because this comb isn't super expensive but I decided to just get one comb that I could just use all the time and I got it from Target it worked so well that when I never lost it it was like way thicker and a lot harder to break which is why I love this comb try to see what things in your life you can like next time something breaks try to see if you can get something that won't break try to see if you can invest in something that's a little more expensive and is going to last you a little bit longer than like two days and then last but not least this one isn't a physical items and this is mostly just like saving money wise I only have one subscription that I pay for so I have a Spotify account subscription because I love music I love listening to music on the train and stuff like that so I do have a Spotify listening account I technically also have a Hulu account because it's connected to my Spotify but I don't pay for the Hulu account I also don't use Hulu the reason I'm telling you guys about my one subscription that I pay for is because as a college student you need to save as much money as you can obviously and every subscription that you add onto your bill is more money especially if you count how much for example Spotify for me is like five dollars a month multiply that by 12 months is that 120? I'm so bad at math. Basically, I know it's over $100, which is a lot if you were to just like take that, not have Spotify, and just use that to buy textbooks. You can see how not having just one subscription is going to save you money in college. So try to see if you can downsize a lot of like the subscriptions that you're paying for. For example, I'm talking more about digital subscriptions. So I have Spotify, but I could have like YouTube Music, Amazon Prime, Hulu. Disney Plus, it really adds up if you start adding all these dis different subscriptions that you are paying for. So what I recommend for you guys is to see what like movie or music subscription that you use the most and just have that and cancel everything else. And you can like try to see if you have like friends or family that have the other ones so you can still use those services. But try to downsize the number of like apps and subscriptions that you pay for. I literally hate that word. I can't say it at all. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed me sharing with you guys the things that I only own one of and I hope this sh gives you guys ideas for things that you can kind of downsize and things that you can kind of not have as much of and I know there are even more things that I only own one of. Just by when I was filming this video I was realizing different things. There are also other things that I own multiple of. I own three pairs of Converse. I have like a couple pillows. I don't just have one pillow. I have more than one plant which is dying actually. Rip to Iris, my ivy plant, who died over winter break because I did not water her, because I was not here. So rip to that, 
but yeah, I have like multiple plants. The other one over there, my um, my aloe plant also died over winter break. My cactus is doing fine though, but you know, you can't really kill a cactus pretty easily. But yeah, I have I own multiple plants. I own a lot of pairs of shoes. I'm just looking at them right now. I have a lot of shoes. I have a lot of clothes. So I think this video is more of just showing you guys the things that I downsize so you can get ideas for where you can also downsize, but also realize that everyone's life is different. And I know I, there was a point in time when I tried to be super minimalist in terms of my closet. And I just realized that I did not like having like two shirts and one pair of jeans. I just like having different options for like getting dressed in the morning. So. You don't have to take every single one of these and be like, oh shoot, I only need one notebook for school. Or I can only have one head, like one coat or something. But if something, if something can't translate into your lifestyle, definitely don't take it. Um, just take the things in this video that are helpful to you and your personal preferences and lifestyle. So yeah. That being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and once again I will have the other YouTubers that I watched this video from linked down below and also have my social media down below if you want to follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. Instagram especially. Don't forget to subscribe to help me reach my goals this year in terms of subscribers. My goal is 10,000 by the end of the year and I feel like if I actually post videos this year I should be able to hit that. But if you subscribe then you will also help me hit that subscribers I think like 60% of the, my video viewers aren't subscribed which is a little sad you guys should fix that hit the red button it's not that hard also comment down below other videos you want me to do and I feel like I've been rambling on and on for too long and I'm just gonna end this video now bye guys